Hello friends, this is Moto Vigilite here and in this video we are going to make a hand grip but not just any hand grip you'll probably find on internet but this hand grip is going to serve three purposes first is regular hand grip second is a floating hand grip and third as a mini tripod so let's get right into it right before uploading the video I realized that I haven't explained this part and how I made this part so f to make that part I used a bottle cap quarter inch screw with two quarter inch nut one big visor and one small visor which is under there so I made a hole same size as of the screw and passed the screw with uh, one nut and a smaller visor and on the other side I put the second big visor and another nut and used glue at the every step to make it uh, waterproof and this goes onto this and our adapter for the camera also goes there one of the first few things you are going to require are a PVC pipe with one inch diameter and two bottle caps with the thread part also attached and some space also available below the neck make sure you cut it like this The length of the pipe you are going to require should be 3 cm more than your width of palm. So measure it and add 3 cm to it and that's the size of the pipe you are going to require. To cut the pipe straight as possible, there is a technique. Find a place where you have a, a wall at 90 degree obviously and another surface also at 90 degree. Make sure there is no extra part there. Something like this here is a present. So we are going to use this part instead. So touch the end of the pipe there. Put a permanent marker or pencil here at the mark where you are going to cut it from. Take help of somebody else if needed. Hold the pen and make sure it's keep touching the pipe. And just simply rotate the pipe 360 degrees. That will create a single line over the pipe which will be exactly at 90 degree and flat to the pipe. And cut it from there use a sandpaper or a rough surface and smooth the edges of the pipe and use the knife or a cutter to remove burrs at the end of the pipe so after you do all the things you will have a piece like this and i would like to call myself lucky because the the threaded part of the bottle is just awesomely fits at the end of the pipe from there it's going to be glued with the pipe that's why i told you to not cut it right at the neck leave some space take two equal parts of m seal sealant and hardener of about 2 to 3 mm thick form a ball like this and then after roll it in a long shape something like i've done here Take that piece and roll it around the bottle cap just as I'm doing here. And after you do that, you'll have something like this. Now insert that part onto the pipe. And after you push it in completely, it will look something like this. 
and remove the excess part with the cutter. And after done with that, to finish it off, I used a strip of tire tube and used some rubber based glue and glued it with the PVC pipe. Use square pieces to make a design on that and with that we are done with our build so i am at the terrace of my house and this is pretty much how the grip looks and this serves three purposes as one as a regular grip other as if you open this bottom cap it can store some inside of it another way is to use it as tripod so for that i have here two caps one stuck with other i will recommend you to use a stronger cap for better stability to use it as a tripod just thread it in and it will work as a tripod currently it is not so stable because the bottom one cap is much of a flexible but i will recommend it to a stronger circular disc or a wooden disc if possible to use this as a floating grip i would like to recommend you that you use glue and a ping pong ball and stick it over here because Although the grip is hollow, it does not efficiently carry the weight of the camera. So adding a ping pong ball will help it float on the surface of water. So that's our finished build. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this video and do subscribe if you haven't already. Be vigilant, ride safe. See you in my next vlog.